Uh, good morning. I'd like to welcome everybody to the December 28th, 2023 Board of Public Works and Safety meeting. Uh, roll call, please. Here. 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 Are there any conflicts of interest statements? No, sir. Number four, approval of the minutes of the meeting of December 21st, 2023. Motion to approve those minutes. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, bid openings, I don't see any. Uh, number six, matters from other department heads or their representatives. Anybody? Number seven, correspondence. Um, letter A, industrial waste and disposal services agreement with waste management submitted for approval. Motion to approve that agreement as submitted. Right, yes, I'm sorry. Um, I was looking at a demolition. Um, good morning, board, uh, good morning. Mr. President. So um, this is a result of a pretty thorough process um, that was uh, recommended by the controller's office, approved by the administration uh, through a reverse auction. Um, and it ended up saving the city a considerable amount of money. So um, that's, a, that's a bonus. Uh, you'll notice that the contract is redlined. It's for a term of one year. So those are the uh, redlined portions of it. I believe it should have been signed by waste management. If it's not, mm -hmm. um, I believe we have a, um, is it, is a signed copy. Yeah. It's very light. Okay. It's signed, yeah. Well, it, okay. So it, I can represent to you that I've spoken with um, our representative from Leopardo, and that he has been in contact with waste management. And I think she signed, she sent an email back. So I'd request it be approved as presented. It's for a term of one year. Gotcha. So um, Linda, we should put a note that in November of next year we should be um, looking at this again. Thank you. Motion to approve. I second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, number two, uh, excuse me, num letter B, funding allocation request form for the Shot Spotter software three year project 2023 through, through 2025 annual commitment submitted for approval. Yeah, I think you should have a signed uh, document indicating the council's and the mayor's um, uh, portions of this, which is great news. It's going to be great. I know the police are very excited about this. So, and congratulations on the grant. Uh, which was a substantial amount of grant, I think three or four hundred thousand dollars to pay for part of it too. So yeah. it's exciting. We're going to implement this, and I'd request its approval. Motion to approve as submitted. I second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, letter C. C. Click fix. Do not block track sign on the new part of Kennedy. Well, you can set it to Typically, Mark. Mark, Mark yeah, you're gonna come, come, up come up here. Yeah. <clears throat> We're getting the uh, warning. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Very yeah. <laughs> Typically, we don't have uh, don't block the track signs because that's pretty obvious. But if you want to send it to us, we'll take a look at it. I was just there today, and sometimes they stack up on Kennedy and 69th by the, traf the traffic signal. So we could take a look at that and see what, sure. it, what it is. Okay. So I recommend sending it to the engineering department. Thank you. Okay. Motion to defer the matter to engineering. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Letter D, request from resident Antonio Trezeras, Terrazas, 1157 Wilcox Street to install do not block driveway signs and or paint yellow lines on curb. I would recommend sending that to the engineering department. We'll take a look at that and see and come back with a status and probably recommend going to the street department for um, something to be done. Motion to defer to engineering. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, letter E, right of way permits. Uh, looks like there's two of them received from engineering, submitted for approval. If you recall, there was one last week and the uh, other one that was accompanying it was not with it. So they're both together. One being just a lane restriction. It would be eastbound, but traffic will be able to go both ways. That's to put the loops in for a train signal. And also the other one is the overnight closure. I believe it's nine to five in the morning in mid-January to install the gates. Yeah, from 9 p.m. on Wednesday the 17th through 5 a.m. on Thursday the 18th. Yes, so I would recommend approval for that. It should not really interrupt too much traffic okay. at that particular time. Okay. And there's a detour that's attached. I believe it's attached there, but we do have a detour plan at. Yeah. You'll have sign. There'll be signs up. Yes, as sir. always, Mark. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you. Motion to approve the right of way permits as submitted. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, moving on to number 10, old business, letter A, uh, status for Jimenez Auto. Um, good morning, board. I believe Mr. Bartholomew, you can see him on the screen. He is, uh, yes. is present here today. And this is up for a status. Um, so there's a couple of outstanding matters, one of which lies um, in my court, which is the uh, overdue and past due licensing fees. Mr. Bartholomew and I are going to negotiate that. So that really shouldn't be an issue uh, and we'll get that knocked out. Of course, one of the hurdles to um, this being accomplished was making sure that, hi. Oh, they oh. just walked in. Okay, just great. In. We just started uh, <coughs> and Christian, I'll just let you know your clients are here present in person. You can probably see them. I, I, I see them, hey there. Okay. So um, I'll just, want to repeat what I, where I was. Yes, okay, so I'll just start over just so you can hear where we're at. Okay, so a um, couple items are outstanding, one of which is um, past due licensing fees. That should not be a problem um, of the board. Mr. Bartholomew and I are going to negotiate that out and get that resolved. Now to, of course, get the license, um, we wanted to make sure that they were in compliance with all the items that zoning and inspections set forth. One of which my understanding is there continues to be a parking issue in the sense that the plan that we received, which is um, this plan, uh, Jake, is that something you? Yes, we can see you. You can see it? it yeah. You can see it, okay. Yeah. Um, kind of indicates where the parking is going to be and it's single row, you know, parking for the, for the uh, facility. Uh, Mr. Novak, who's gonna come up in a second, can explain his concern about how parking is um, going out there and what he believes needs to be corrected. So Tom, do you wanna just, and I'll, I'm gonna hand these to the, to the Okay, yeah, so, um, and basically, you, you know, so I, they're currently parking in two, well, they were and they've cleared out well, most of the cars, but they're not parking in a single row, you know, it's kind of jagged. So there's a gate at one end of the building here we wanna keep clear. So originally the plan kind of had this parking along the building, we need to see this re we need to see this restriped. It's kind of faded, and then keep cars just parked in a single row along the building there. And not you know not, not like, like bumper, not like uh, yeah. front end to back end, right? Yeah, yeah. And so, um, yeah. Um, can, 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 can we ask you what? Are you talking about along the building here, or no, there's no parking? Here, right, there's no parking. There, yeah, back there. Yeah. So they can have a single line there. Yeah, yeah. yeah there should be just a single line. I got gotcha. you. And. And if it helps, I mean, installing parking bumpers. Yeah, they removed every, the everything the except right. one car on the second stage. You can see one car back there. And there's a couple behind it. I yeah. got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay. That you can't see from that angle. But got so it. our point is just restripe it and then keep them all in one row, and I think we should be happy. Yeah, and as long as that can be um, accomplished reasonably soon, I, you know, I have no objection to getting the business license resolved, mm -hmm. and then yeah. I think we're done. I mean, it, you know, it's yeah. been a huge improvement. It's small stuff, but we do want to get them in compliance so that way, you know, it's just it's just done and we don't have to have them keep coming back. Okay. So, um, Christian, did you want to address the board or? Um, everything that's been presented comports with the conversations and the email exchanges that I had with Kevin and 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 Tom. I I think okay. uh, the only remaining issue gotcha. at this gotcha. point is is this parking issue, which seems to be a fairly. Uh, minor thing but uh when i spoke with tom it seems like there's there's a few potential resolutions one of which would be to um stripe this it, it's kind of a continuation of an alleyway that that comes out behind one of the buildings and it's easy to confuse it with the actual lot on the site plan just because of the way things have been set up in the past so you know, Tom said maybe we could put in some parking blocks or some signs or some additional uh, striping and that might fix the issue. I, I don't anticipate any of those, uh, you know, being a, a problem. I haven't had the opportunity to discuss it in depth with, with my clients. It came up fairly recently and, and um, I note they're here today. I didn't get to speak to them yesterday. but. But I think everything that's been presented uh, is is accurate as far as my conversations with the city and um, 
I, I guess I would just ask if, if my clients have any, any questions on their end or anything that they need to have cleared up uh, while we're here. Yeah, no, I, I don't think, honestly, we have any questions. I mean, we pretty much try to clear it up, everything. I think the only car that you do see there was something that we weren't able to. They brought it in with a tow truck, and we weren't able to get a part in, which is getting in today, and we'll get fixed and moved. So. Yeah, I think if we, yeah. if we work on striping it, I think it'll solve all this, because then we know where the cars are supposed to be, and we all know where the cars are supposed to be, and if they're in compliance, we're good, and if they're not, it'll be very easy to see that they're not. Um, I, what I would suggest to the board is um, set this over for 60 days with the understanding that if during that time the parking gets resolved and um, I can resolve the issues with the, the late fees with Mr. Bartholomew, that we'll, we'll cancel that status to not, that way nobody has to keep coming back by. All right, so if we could get a 60 day date with the understanding that I might vacate that if, we, um, you know, if we're able to get compliance, so. Is February 22nd okay? Uh, sure with me. Christian, is that good with you? Uh, that should work. Yeah, that's fine. And you can attend by Zoom, of course, at any time. And your clients can too. So. Okay, February 22nd at 9 a.m. Motion to set the matter for status for February 22nd, 2024. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, everybody. Okay, moving on to... All right, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, moving on to letter B, status for 6946 Arizona. So this is Mr. Rhodes' place. I don't know, Bill, do you have any update? No, I don't. Okay, so I don't see him here. Um, we asked for a couple weeks, because part of that issue is that fence. Right. Have you? I have not had Anybody been by there? I mean, I want to see that, that fence, that, right? I mean, that was in bad shape. Really bad shape. Yeah, yeah. has anyone been by there? Donnie, yeah, have you been over there? Week, okay. Do, do we? I'd do we, say set it over for a week. One week, and then if and let's week. check it out. Is that Mike Coles or is that you, Jason? Okay, so that's you, Mike. Mike. Okay, so um, one week, and we'll ask Mr. Luter or Mr. Farrell or Mr. Kearney or Mr. Coles to hop out there and give us an update. Actually, I work Friday. I can do it tomorrow. Well, yeah, I mean, but yeah, you know, I want you to see it for the board, Donnie, but right. I want or Mr. Kalina, oh. but I want oh, I see what you mean. Okay. A report to the board as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for. Would, Fourth or the eleventh? The fourth. Okay. Whatever the fourth or eleventh. If you want it the eleventh, just because it's a holiday, you want to go eleventh. Yeah, let's do eleventh. Okay. okay. Yeah. One eleven. Motion to set the matter for status for January eleventh, twenty twenty-four. I second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Status for number letter C. Sorry. Status for thirteen fifteen one seventieth. Good morning, board. Good morning. Um, we would ask for a continuance out 30 days to January 25th. Uh, the property owner is uh, being very cooperative with us. Uh, permits have been pulled. It's basically just pending inspections. Gotcha. So January 25th is what we would ask for. Motion to set this for status for January 25th, 2024. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Uh, letter D, status for 1463 Indianapolis Boulevard. So... Um, Several weeks ago, we received requests for releases on this property. Um, Linda, you might remember that they were asking who was going to record it, and I said they were going to record it, and they asked for a wet original. But I haven't seen anything since then. Have you got any of those releases back? Did it close? The issue we're having with this is just to make sure that we keep on this property. Because right. as Mr. Luter let me know, you know, we had, they thought they had a buyer. The owners are in Connecticut. Then they're, you know, because we were giving them some time to close and get a new buyer in there so we could then potentially proceed with a rehab agreement. But if it's going to stall out, we need to proceed because we've given them a very long I leash agree. on this. I agree. Right, Bill? So um, if we could get that January 11th date for us to figure out what's going on with these releases and whether it is going to close or not. Sure. And that, Bill, does that give you enough time to follow up? And that way we can um, determine. So, Linda, you'll work on that as well. Thank you. 
Motion to set for status for January 11th, 2024. Thank you. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, letter E, second extension of agreement to rehabilitate property located at 941 Reese Avenue submitted for approval. Not signed. We still don't have it signed. Uh, who? January 11th. Sorry about that. Set this for status for January 11th, 2024. Aye, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, letter F, status for Chesapeake and Chestnut. <clears throat> Stop sign. That'd be uh, engineering. <laughs> I, want, I want to say my parents live on that street and we love it. So. Oh, it's there? <laughs> they put it in? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's in. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, a, is that, is that something that I've got? I, what do you have before you? Do you have a piece? Anything? Uh, it says that the, the the quest was approved. Yes, by the Board of Public Works and Safety. Uh, Dean Button. It's, it's a was letter it a from Dean. Temporary Dean. approval back in. What's the date on that? Uh, date September twenty sixth, and ninety day trial period. Okay, and what's the so is the is the um, recommendation to request the board to permanently approve the stop sign? I would have to defer till Dean comes back and to discuss with him. Okay. I mean, I'm not aware of this one. It might have been when I was off. The upside to doing something today would be that we could then make it part of the cleanup ordinance for 2023. But if not, we can wait. I mean, I, we probably do need Dean to confirm, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I haven't talked to Dean, but I know that 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 a stop sign there was needed for sure because uh, it's hard to see going back the other way, which is what he can. Just speaks a long straight yeah. Oh, okay. It's a blind. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay, I, we'll defer it. We'll, we'll defer it. Yep. Actually, nope. I'm aware of this, and it he brought it back to my memory. Yes, there's a blind spot there, and it's what's necessary with that, just such as on Arizona, Arkansas. Just, just like that, but I understand what this one was because there is a blind spot coming off of Chesapeake. Okay. So yeah, there I is would, definitely going back. Yes, the other I way. would recommend this being done because I'm sure Dean is aware of this and we did discuss this. Yeah, council, Councilman did request it. Yes, Councilman. Councilman Whirlpool. Whirlpool is the one that made the request, yes. Yes. I do recall that. Also, does this also have to go to council? No, for them? no okay. but you, if done. the board approves it, it'll become one of our, I do a cleanup ordinance every year to not, I don't want to call it cleanup. I do a summary ordinance every year for everything the board has passed. Okay. So if you want to, I mean, board could, it sounds like it's going to stay permanent. I, it, yes. I mean, in my opinion, it should, but You're that's my opinion. So I'm one, one person. Yes, so. I would yes. recommend okay. that. Okay. It sounds like Tom's parents want it to be permanent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, okay. Motion to approve the stop sign at Chesapeake and Chestnut. And to make it permanent. And to make it permanent. I second. All in favor say aye. Thank aye. you. Thank you. Uh, letter G, status for a 90-day temporary stop sign at Vine in Arizona. This was actually for the construction of Kennedy Avenue. Right. And I would like to defer this and make sure, discuss it with Dean when he comes back off of his vacation. Uh, put it for status for maybe two weeks. Okay, this is one that I remember they were saying they would pull after yes. construction. Yes. yes, but I just want to make sure everything and... I recall what you're saying, but then he kind of, Dean said that it was, it was kind of, he was getting favorable working, yeah. remarks from it. So maybe it might, so we'll see. Okay. Yeah. So I would recommend that. <clears throat> Motion. There's, Sorry, Mark. No, there are just so many stop signs that are being requested this past year. So. January 11th. Yeah. Okay. So we'll set the matter for, motion to set the matter for status for January 11th, 2024. I second. Thank you. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, the meeting's open to the public. Does anybody have anything they want to say? Well, since I'm here, I'll say Happy New Year's. Happy New Year to you one. too, you, sir. And a safe one and a great one. Thanks, Mark. Same to you. Stop Thank sign you. problems became very ubiquitous for us this year. Very didn't ubiquitous. Yes. 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 Okay. Right. Motion to adjourn. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 That was ubiquitous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stop mm -hmm. signs. Ubiquitous.